Hi everyone, it's Deb. I'm back with another project share from the Potomac Beads Treasure Kit. Now, for this one, it's my patriotic necklace, hearts and stars, and all things kind of shiny. These actually are called lavender, but they looked blue to me when I was using them, and they look blue on camera to me right now. But when I put it on my my bust earlier, they definitely looked more purpley. So we sort of have a purpley blue, and um, but we've got some sapphire blue in here. So let me tell you what I used. I used the beading wire from the January kit, which I only have enough for probably a necklace or two bracelets left. Um, I used this little check glass mix that had hearts in it only for two little red hearts right down here. That was from the February kit. I used a couple of these tiny little um, three by two millimeter silver stainless steel, actually, metal spacer beads from the February kit. I used one eye pin from the February kit. Here's the mermaid glass bead six millimeter lavender mat. So I don't, I don't think they're Czech. I think they're just like Chinese or something. I had two little metallic blue iris two millimeter crystal round beads and those I used, where did I use those? On either end of this heart. Um, and then these other ones are from the, a different kit. Um, I used, I had, uh, I think three um, of these disco no i had five five out of ten of the disco balls left so two here two here and one right here in the middle of the little bead dangle which i'll hold up and show you later uh, these two pieces of i think coral were from the february kit and this heart with the stars on it i believe is dichroic glass but don't hold me to that i don't remember it's got hearts and it's a, I mean, it's a heart and it has uh, stars on both sides. Um, I used eye, nope, head pins from the May kit, oval jump rings, um, one back here, one at each end of the bead stringing, and one down here because I couldn't fit all these onto the um, eye pin. I used the chain from the May kit here and also I cut some up and did uh, little pieces for the dangles down here. From the April kit I used some of these white four millimeter bright white pearls um, as in-betweens and I also used the dark sapphire three millimeter crystal bicones and they're here, 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 here and everywhere down here except on the ends of the, the heart there. I think I only used three down here, yeah. So that's that, that's what I used quite a bit. And so, you know, sometimes it pays not to finish a kit right away because <laughs> you can make use of it some another way. I am probably going to make some earrings to match. Of course, I don't have any more of this. Um, I think I'm just gonna use these and the white and the blue. I don't know. Oh, and then from my own stash, I have these uh, hematite five millimeter stars and these check glass. I guess they're like a light sapphire. I don't know, a light blue. And they're down here. So there's the disco ball. Um, what I did is I used seven lengths of chain to put the little stars on with the little silver ball and five lengths of chain to put the little red hearts with the pearl. And then I used a little, um, my own five millimeter jump rings to hook on the um, little hematite stars with the little crystals, sapphire crystals at the bottom. And so it hangs really nice like that. Um, yeah, I think it's really pretty. So it's an 18 inch necklace extendable to, I was gonna, I looked for a star 
lobster clasp and I have one but it's more like a star um, that a half moon goes through for the toggle and then there's a star charm excuse me but I wanted to be able to extend this to 20 um, inch from 18 so I decided to use just a lobster clasp in the back with an oval jump ring and um, because I hooked it onto the chain so I couldn't use a closed jump ring there and then this is an extender chain from my stash I have a whole set of them from a certain company anyway um, so the lobster class will go through that chain where I don't think it would go through this curb chain so that's my my patriotic project for Memorial Day Please think about others on Memorial Day, those who lost their lives so that we can have our freedom uh, to be able to do what we like to do, such as beating and so forth. Um, yeah, so um, my dad was a veteran, but um, he wasn't injured in a war or anything. He was, he was overseas, but he, um, he didn't get injured, luckily. Anyway, um, that is my project, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've had a lovely weekend and um, a thoughtful one. Okay, hugs, love, and peace.